Well, Singapore has amended its constitution to allow the president to take on international appointments in his or her private capacity. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong says this will prevent ambiguity on whether the president is speaking for Singapore or giving his or her own views. Cabinet must still first advise that such an appointment will be in the national interest. When the cabinet agrees to the president or to a minister undertaking these assignments, we are doing this for the national interests. We are doing this so that the president can project Singapore's influence and strengthen our networks in the world, fulfilling his presidential duties. And approving an appointment in its private capacity is a way for us to facilitate the president acting independently to achieve the aims of the organization subject to the necessary safeguards of our national interest. Our President Thamman Shamagaratnam currently holds a number of international positions. Now, they include those in the Group of 30 and the Global Commission on the Economics of Water. Mr Wong says Mr Thamman has not attended formal meetings in these positions since being appointed President in order to be cautious. The amendment was passed with 75 MPs voting for it and eight against it. Opposition MPs raised several concerns, including why the issue was being brought up to Parliament at this, at this time. Mr. Taman has been on these boards uh, in his official capacity all this time. DPM Wong has confirmed that, that all these positions that he's currently on are in his official capacity. And he's been speaking his mind all this time. So what is wrong with that? Mr. Taman is now the head of state. And therefore, we have to have uh, structure, predictability, a framework in order to resolve what could be internationally prickly situations. All of us, including the President, have only 24 hours each day. <clears throat> Any time he spends serving private interests will be time taken away from his national duties to his constituents, who are the people of Singapore. Surely the role of the president is significant enough to merit his undivided attention. Undertaking this role in a private capacity does not mean that the president or the minister is somehow doing some ECA, some extracurricular activity, something that's outside of his work duties. That is not the case. When the president serves in this capacity, he is contributing to his national responsibilities, he's undertaking his presidential duties. MPs also asked why the law needed to be backdated to September when Mr Thaman was inaugurated as president. If there's a possibility that President Thaman's foreign and international appointments are unconstitutional, then what this House is doing today creates a worrying precedent. This House is being asked to change the highest law in the land and backdate the change to enable a specific individual to remain within legal boundaries. And we do it very, very rarely. Why so? Because backdating upsets expectations and prejudices individuals who relied on existing law. And so if you backdate, then the ones who had relied on existing law may well be prejudiced. But this is not the case here. No one is prejudiced under this backdating. In any case, setting aside the principle of it, we are doing this out of an abundance of caution. We will not use this, and the approval of the president's appointment will be done on a prospective basis. The new law will also apply to cabinet ministers. Mr Wong adds that the government does not intend to allow current or future prime ministers to hold positions in any international organisations.